right, folks. I'm going to show you a little bit of antiquing. Some of you have probably already done this. Of course, I don't. I don't do this on cowboy rigs, and very rarely any other rigs other than this TCAA stuff, which gives us an opportunity to kind of experiment, do some things we would not otherwise do. So. Got all this color that I think that you've seen before. So, uh, but first of all, we need to put on our protection. So, you always like that when the doctor does that, right? And uh, <clears throat> let me back up here. What I've done with this Bronk figure, which I have been a little concerned about, that he's kind of getting lost in all the color and stuff going on here, all that background in there that's got all the color in it, so on and so forth. So <clears throat> I'd like him to be a focal point. So what I did was I came in, uh, Gary Winkler, my buddy up in North Idaho, told me about how he's, he's treating some of his flowers. Uh, and he told me you take some of that Y.O. Sheen and you paint onto the, the flowers or whatever figure, whatever you want the most resist. And uh, <clears throat> I just took a fine brush and painted some of that Y.O. Sheen, which of course is the same thing as the old neat lac used to be. So, so I've already done that. That dries fairly quickly. And then we come in uh, with this I've often used the dark brown Phoebings, uh, kind of scaling it back on this, making it a medium brown, uh, <clears throat> which I will tone down this color. And uh, we just basically spackle all this in so that we can load up those cut areas. Now one thing that uh, <clears throat> I realized on an earlier piece that that uh, you want to rub this right off right away if you if you now if you read that of course when I do something off and I, when I antique and I've got to resist on there and stuff it doesn't matter that much. Uh, how long you leave it on there, but I think the label will call for leaving it on there for a few minutes. And what I found in order to get that, to clean up that, that area that I have a resist on, because it's the only area that, that I do have it on, then uh, I want to kind of scrape that off, buff that off uh, as quickly as possible. So, uh, therefore, doing it kind of in segments here, making sure that loads up really good in all of the all of the cut areas. And when you buff it off, all you all you want to do is to take off the very the high spots uh, so I don't get super aggressive with this clipped wool. I'd like that. That uh, antique paste to remain in there. Now it doesn't even really look much like I've got <clears throat> Got, uh, I don't have a lot of resist going on there. So, but uh, I've got another idea that uh, I think will help. I'm gonna come in and, and take a, I got some denatured alcohol and just take some of that on a Q-tip and, and clean up uh, that wrong figure and that'll swab off some of the I'll remove some of this antique if I've got some of it hanging on there. I might mention also, as you can see, I've got put some some uh, painter's tape or just uh, 
masking tape on the back side to keep because this stuff of course gets really messy and so I want to be able to <clears throat> keep that back side pretty clean this is not going to be lined so okay I'm going to go ahead and do the other one and then uh, we'll see <coughs> we'll see how I think that's helping that kind of muting a lot of that color and definitely gives it that antique feel and I'm going to come in like I said with I don't probably don't need to show you how I do that but I'll come in with that swab and and dab off clean up that bronc figure and see if I can get a little lighter color coming out on that but I think this definitely helped it 